I made some new merch designs. Do you like them? I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. Link in bio. Hey, friends who live in Canada, what do you think of Canada? What do I think of Canada? Hmm, let's see. Uh, well, when the snow melts, you get to witness the minefield of dog poop that people didn't pick up. It's cold, but I like the cold because you can keep layering until you're warm. But in the heat, you can only get so naked. And, th and then you just have a sunburn on your butt. Every summer I leave Arizona to visit my family in Canada because we like seeing them and they're really great. And yeah, we also don't like to live in a volcano. We normally have a non-stop flight, but this one particular trip we decided to do a layover to save some money. I think it was July 2012, so I was like, 14. A couple days before our flight, my mom realized that my brother Jax and Maya's passports were expired. Well, this is either gonna go over well, or it isn't. <laughs> oh, it was so much worse. We got to the flight check-in and they said, hey, these passports are expired. Obviously. But it was only by a little bit, so the guy was nice and said, okay, I'm gonna let you all through and inform your layover about what's happening, but get those renewed soon. So we were like, yay, crisis averted. But wait, there's still 95% of the video left. That's because we were wrong. We landed in Minneapolis and the people said, hey, these passports are expired. Obviously. Oh, yeah, we're sorry about that. The man at the Phoenix airport let us off with a warning and said he contacted you about everything and... Well, crap, I think we're actually stuck in Minneapolis. I guess this is our new home now, get used to it, kids. So it was my scared mom and her two expired children stranded in this obscure city. We went to a pharmacy, which for some reason also takes passport photos, but we had to wait until the passport place opened the next morning. Mom was having an aneurysm panic attack, but didn't want us to worry, so she was like, hey kiddos, time for an adventure. Adventure time! She took us to the Mall of America, which is the biggest, craziest mall in America with four floors of shops, entertainment, a mirror maze, bowling, roller coasters, aquarium. I've never seen anything like it. There were so many things to do. How could we choose what to do first? Roller coasters in a mall? Four floors? A kid's paradise? People get married in that mall. We ate at the food court for 20 minutes and left because it was closing for the night. We found a hotel and slept in our clothes, even though we had our luggage. I remember on the light rail I said to mom, You know, I really like it here. Like the oblivious child I was, not knowing the weight of the actual circumstances. Having a grand old time listening to a high school musical playlist on an iPod and playing with my stuffed animals. I freaking love stuffed animals. As a kid, I couldn't sleep without them. My favorites were Raul the mouse and Ringo the raccoon. I've had them for years. Anyway, luckily, Minneapolis is one of the few places that has one day turnaround for passports for the cost of an arm, a leg, and your entire savings. So in the morning, we had to check out of the hotel, run to the passport place, and make it to the airport in time for our new flight. It was gonna be a tight schedule, but it was doable. We were on our way to get the passports when in the middle of transit I realized, Mom, I, I forgot my stuffed animals in the hotel. <laughs> but, but no, it's all right. I don't, I don't need them. It's okay, really. It's not a big deal. I left Raul and Ringo in the hotel, and Mom was already having a mental stress breakdown, and I was not at all wanting to contribute to any more of that. But Mom, being the kick butt awesome parent she is, defeatedly pulled out her phone. Hello, yes, we just checked out this morning. Would you check room 421 to see if there's two stuffed animals in there? Um. Ma'am, there's someone currently occupying that room. And that was super weird to hear because we literally just left the hotel. How did someone already fill up the room? Turns out we just called the wrong hotel so we got transferred to the right one and they said they'd hold them for us to quickly pick up. So now the schedule was arrive at the passport place right as it opens at 8 a.m., get passports, run back to the hotel to grab Raul and Ringo, rush to the airport before our 1 p.m. flight, and I'd also like to point out that the last shuttle to the airport leaves at 12 p.m., so if we miss that shuttle, we're screwed. Remember, things were different back in the days of 2012 BU before Uber. Back then, the idea of paying to jump in a car with an unlicensed stranger wasn't very popular. At the passport place, we walked up to the desk, and the first thing they said was, so both parents are present, correct? Uh, actually, he's 1,645 miles away. <sighs> no, 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 no
we could get in contact with dad, send him a form to fill out, get it notarized, which means legalized by a notary, which means a person licensed by the government approves it, which... Okay, we don't have time for this! We have to prove the paper is legal, but there's a problem to that solution. It's 8 a.m. in Minneapolis, but 6 a.m. in Arizona, which means notarizing places aren't open. <laughs> now, my mom knows a lot of people, and one of her best friends is actually an accountant, which means she can get it notarized when she goes into work and get it sent back super quickly. Which, what are the odds of that? Mom, we should buy a lottery ticket if we actually get to Canada. So quick! Woke dad, got the form filled, called the friend, did the thing, got the thing back, and somehow everything was accepted and we weren't expired children anymore. And off we were running down the city to get back to the hotel to grab Raul and Ringo. Okay, I'm gonna insert a tiny story detail. We left our luggage at the hotel so we wouldn't have to be dragging it everywhere, which means we would have had to get back to the hotel anyway, but it's much more intense to think that grabbing the stuffed animals was an extra step we didn't have time for, so shh, we're gonna continue. We were sprinting to catch the light rail, Jax and I were running ahead, and for some reason mom's knee started hurting and she started slowing down. Are you okay? And she was just like, go, go, I'll catch up, just get to the train, go, go without me! We made it. We sonicked into the hotel, grabbed Raul and Ringo, and the luggage we were already coming back for, reached the shuttle before it left, and finally fell into the airport. Yay. Yay. Sitting at our gate, waiting for the plane to swoop us off to Canada land with their moose and their poutine and Niagara Falls. Well, technically, Niagara Falls is made up of three different waterfalls, and the U.S. actually owns two of them. But I guess Horseshoe Falls is the biggest and most popular, so... Mom suddenly realized that she forgot my dad's letter at the passport, showing that both parents consent to us, the innocent, helpless, pathetic children, crossing the border. In the past, security always asks us to show that consent paper, so mom couldn't even have a relaxing plane ride being stressed out of her mind that we would land and still couldn't pass the border. After all that, she didn't tell us she was worried because she was already doing a freaking dang good job of hiding the weight of what was going on, so she held it in the entire flight. But she told us afterwards and we gave her a slow clap. She deserved more, but we were kids. That's all we had. We approached the security booth gave them our shiny new passports. They looked at my mom, my brother, and me. Have a fun time in Canada. They didn't ask that time! My mom, every time she tells this story, always says, they always ask, they always ask, they didn't ask this time, how the frick even, they always ask! And that was that. We got to Canada, that's it. Wow, that was a lot of effort to come here. Yeah, I mean, Canada's alright, but you guys have that Mall of America. Okay, yeah, sure, cool, but I mean, we have West Edmonton Mall, which has an indoor water park and a theme park. Wait, really? That, that exists? Well, I guess that automatically puts us on top, then. We were always on top, Dom. We are America's hat. Woo, yeah, Canada. I had to ask my mom the timeline of events during the whole thing because I was young and don't remember anything but eating in Mall of America and forgetting my stuffed animals. Big thanks to Domix and Ginger Pail for being Canadian and also helping with lines. They're great buds. This is hopefully the last time I mentioned this in an end card, but I'm still interested in finding other animators. I talked about it in the Apples video, but this is the last time I'm bringing it up, I promise, I think. I'm still looking for animators to help me with scenes because I want the videos to be more animated. The videos I did in the past on my own are pretty bland looking, and I want to be able to have more quality animation in videos without taking six months to finish something. I know people are against me asking for help on videos because my channel has that homemade, it's just a normal person doing YouTube for fun feeling. I'm not professional at anything. But a normal person can't make seven minute fully animated videos every couple of weeks on their own. Some people might prefer one or two videos a year that are done only by me. And I get that. But I like posting videos more frequently, not only because it helps the channel and me stay alive, but a lot of people enjoy more videos and I'm able to support really talented animators I'm working with. That's my take on the situation and you don't have to agree with me at all. But I'm really trying my best to think of you and me and everyone. Okay, thanks. Send a portfolio to jadenanimationsanimator at gmail.com if you're interested. Info in the description. Have a good rest of your week, and here's Ginger Pale being Canadian. Moose maple syrup, a healthcare. Poutine, 